Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my friends, all across the happy little globe today, and welcome back. My name is Leaf, and as always, it's so great to have you guys back here for another DLC quote-unquote prediction video. At this point, this is honestly just wishful speculation. I'm so glad that you guys stopped by nonetheless, though, because today we're doing something that I love very much, aquariums. We're doing aquariums, fish, and all stuff like that. Specifically, today we're going to be tackling the fresh water aquarium dlc and i kind of already outlined how i think this would happen so let's just jump right into the water over here now a lot of the times people debate how well aquariums would work uh the essential way that i would see frontier being able to implement them would be kind of the same idea behind aviaries and lagoons in jwe2 just on a much 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 more smaller scale i'm talking from one exhibit box that you could place next to each other and it would snap to each other and it would grow bigger basically a bunch of different sizes that you kind of put together maybe you have like a corner piece so it's a little bit more round and stuff like that maybe you have a tall piece Either way, I feel like that this kind of system would work incredibly well for getting fish in the game, and I really hope Frontier would actually consider doing this, because fish are an integral part of the zoo experience, they're also an integral part to the aquarium experience. So I feel like having this really be able to work extremely well, and allow for a lot more, you know, diverse decoration, would be incredible to have. But I know what a lot of you guys care about are the animals in the Freshwater Aquarium DLC. So we're going to jump right into it. I separated them out by regions this time around because I feel like that'd be more so on the nose. Um, just as a way to kind of flesh out your areas when it comes to all that stuff. And for South America, this is a beautiful area. I have the red-bellied piranha. These guys are ferocious and vicious, but not really to the extent that the media makes them out to be. They're actually relatively docile animals, even though they, they do live in larger schools that can frick your stuff up. But still, these guys are relatively docile, and I think they are just integral aquarium species, especially in a freshwater area. Moving on from there, I also have the Arapaima. These guys are beautiful, they're big, and they're perfect. The Arapaima is the largest freshwater fish in the entire world. They are really, really pretty much living dinosaurs. They actually breathe air, which is kind of cool. They kind of go up to the surface and kind of like, boop, like they take in air and stuff like that. So I think that's pretty cool. And I also have the red-tailed catfish. These guys are some of my personal favorites out of all the catfish. These guys are beautiful. They're big, fat, and chunky and they have some of the most beautiful coloration that any fish has ever had. So moving on from there, I also have the North American fish. Now North America is home to a lot of sporting, a lot of game fish. I can only include two in here though as a way to kind of bring this up to eight species altogether. So in here, I actually have the alligator gar and the American paddlefish. Both are relatively beautiful animals that can cohabitate with each other, which I must add in here. They're both relatively, uh, how do you say, predatory fish. So that's also really cool is in there as well. You could really get a good amount of like mixing and matching in this stuff. I think that's pretty cool right there. So that is a couple of awesome fish right there. So I also have a little trip over to Africa with you guys. I have the African tiger fish. Fish. While not really the most common aquarium species, these guys are really cool and very emblematic of African wildlife. When it comes to aquatics and stuff like that, these guys are beautiful and they pack a mean punch with their very scary teeth. Oh my god. I also have cichlids. Any kind of African cichlid that has a lot of color variation would be a great one to have in here as well. Cichlids are very, very, very iconic African species and they're very common in the pet trade and the aquarium trade as well. They're a very beautiful animal and just getting a big school of them in planet zoo would be a really cool thing to have as well I also only have one animal from Asia. This one could be used in like your Amazon tanks as well because they do have relatives from the Amazon. I do have the Asian Arowana. These guys are beautiful and they have such wonderful color variation. These guys can go anywhere from red to even like silvery to orange to gold. It's really wonderful how many different kinds of subpopulations these guys have. Moving on from there, I also have a new keeper type in here as well. Uh, the way that I see this working, you would probably need a dedicated aquarist to really help out your zoos and stuff like that. And aquariums, too. 
don't forget those. Um, essentially, they would help with the upkeep. They would help with the upkeep. That's very funny. <laughs> um, that's a little subliminal message right there. They would help with the upkeep of your aquariums, as well as just trying to maintain filters, maintain water heaters and regulators and stuff like that, and even clean tanks. Uh, while the keepers would be more so preoccupied with the terrestrial animals, I feel like this would be a perfect job for a dedicated separate entity. I also have new scenery and props that could be included within this pack. I know it seems like a very big pack when you look at eight animals, new props, a new exhibit type, but listen, we're just hoping for the best over here. I would love to see new mangrove pieces, faux rocks, and sand patches for, you know, your naturalistic areas. I feel like these would go a very long way in helping to kind of decorate the areas as well as decorating you know a lot of the different like tanks and stuff like that even for semi-aquatic animals like for example in the amazon we have the cuvier's dwarf caiman these could go a long way in helping to bridge the gap between the dlc animals and the former dlc animals i also have a new cabin theme this would be kind of like kind of like the new world kind of vibe that we have going on right now but a lot more rustic a lot more kind of worn down maybe this wood would have a little bit of moss growing on it or something like that maybe it's a little weathered a little damaged kind of like an in-between of that in the arctic sec i would really love moving on from there though i also have a lot more decorative items be it murals to go on the backgrounds of aquariums i also have indoor scenery decorative and rustic planters these would be a really really awesome addition to have especially for aquariums where you don't often get too many aquariums exposed to the elements and stuff like that i would definitely love to see a lot more integration within environments within indoors and stuff like that within buildings to be integrated here just as a way to help us decorate those areas because it's really sad <laughs> how hard it can be to decorate the interiors of buildings in planet zoo so having some pieces dedicated for that for some very nice entry level fans would be a great thing to have but that's essentially it for my freshwater aquarium dlc i know my picks are very much skewed towards south america but let me know what you guys would have to say what would you guys change what would you guys swap what do you guys feel like i might have missed in this video definitely do let me know in the comments down below but all that being said we have a new dlc on the way hopefully it's not this one or the next one that i have coming up because that'd be a very very big knot in my schedule but either way thank you guys so much for stopping by let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next video take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days Bye bye now